Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're doing a throwback video, and here comes Kenner's 1978 Star Wars X-Wing Fighter. Here's the Star Wars X-Wing Fighter and the Star Wars TIE Fighter. Spaceships and Luke Skywalker sold separately. Batteries not included. I'll get you this time. Both with flashing lights and sound. A hit! There go the solar panels! And Darth Vader got away! Force is with me! Luke Skywalker wins again! Kenner's Star Wars X-Wing Fighter, TIE Fighter, and action figures all sold separately. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room, coming from My Room to Yours, and today is a throwback video. I promised you guys I would try and do throwback videos every single week. Um, yeah, I'm running a little late on this one. I've been a little busy and then yeah, I ended up getting a bad cut on my hand and all of a sudden it went to a cold. Uh, so I think it's hay fever, but hopefully I'm starting to get over this, but I wanted to get this video out now. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at this. Here is the 1978 X-Wing fighter. This is what we got back in our day when Star Wars came out. And boy, if you got this, you were like the kid. You you would take it to school. You could take stuff to school and everything else. I remember I took this thing to school with me and I even had all the necklaces. They had like these necklaces with like the little figures or the uh, Darth Vader head on it or a Stormtrooper head on it. Um, and I had them all. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I ended up looking like Mr. T going to um, school. But the focus was on this. This X-Wing was what we had. So if you were lucky enough to get one of these bad boys, um, you were like the kid. So, um, but I know that back in the day, Toys R Us's would be heavily stocked. Um, you could not miss Star Wars. You could literally do a want list for Christmas, right? Let's say it's coming around September. You could do a, a, a want list for Christmas. And it gives your, your parents time to save up to purchase one of these or the Millennium Falcon or the Y-Wing um, or the uh, Land Speeder. And they even had play sets. They had the Cantina play set. Um, a few others that were out, you know. Um, but, and they had the mail -away play set. But the main thing was the figures. They had figures, folks, for these. And you could go to Toys R Us. Or you could go to uh, whoever was selling these, Jimco or Service Merchandise or, or even Thrifty Drugs and Payless Drugs uh, out here and Walgreens and Mervyn's, Sears. Sears had aisles of Star Wars. So it gave your parents time to save up to money to get it. It wasn't no Hasbro Pulse bullshit. Uh, that they do now where you need, you know, six or seven hundred dollars. You got to make sure that you get on a wait list, uh, put your money down. Then you got to wait for it to be made. No, it wasn't like that. You just walked in, picked this baby out and you picked out that Luke and X-Wing figure uh, on card and you tore through that card and you, you just had at it all day, folks. But anyway, this is what a lot of us got to see um, back in our day. And I know with the way the collections are going now, they are very expensive. Just the box alone can be expensive. I have another X-Wing in here, but the reason that I pulled this thing out, I have uh, a few other variants of this in box, uh, but I pulled out the original one just to give you guys an idea as to what we saw back in 1978, because even though the movie came out in 77, the figures and the vehicles started hitting around 78, 79. Uh, so just in time for that way, when Empire Strikes Back came, um, yeah, they were ready. Kenner was ready. There was no ifs or buts about it. You could find any figure you wanted, um, all these vehicles right on the shelves, unlike you can now. All right, folks. So what you see before you is a few different variants of this X-Wing. Uh, but first of all, uh, the body, sh the body length on uh, mostly all these X wings are exactly the same. So is the wingspan um, of all X wings that came out at that time. Uh, they would just redo them, uh, 
redo it in a different color, whatever, put different stickers to make it look battle damaged to resell it again in a different box or to even sell it in another country. So I'll show you those in just a minute. But first off, tail of the tape, this X-Wing, picture this, a kid flying this thing around. This thing's 14 inches long, okay? And you could, and there was shelf space. So you went to Toys R Us, man, you were excited because you knew that you were leaving with one right away. So let's do this. So the length on this one from the wingspan is 12 inches. Okay. So you have 14 inches from front, from nose to rear, and then from wing to wing is 12 inches. All right, so what's cool about these X-Wings, not only did they light up and they make that terrible sound that you heard in the beginning of the video, that's pretty much how all the Star Wars figures, well, Star Wars um, uh, vehicles sounded, okay? And you're lucky to even get them to sound like that nowadays, <laughs> to be honest. All right, so what we had in our day, this is my original X-Wing fighter from when I was a kid. I don't know uh, if some of these stickers are repro or not that I put on. Um, I don't remember. I know I ended up putting repro stickers on one of these. I just don't know which one it was. Uh, but I know that this one was my original one as a kid. Uh, so I would play with this. And what was cool was you would put R2 and the wings would pretty much open up. So... You can see that I don't know if I can get it to hold in place anymore. So I probably have to do it with another one. But yeah, they would they would literally lock in place like this. I'm sure one of my other ones does it easily. Um, but yeah, this is what we got. And then you had the push button here that would give it its light and sound. And then it also had a cockpit for this is all original folks so that way you could place your luke skywalker inside there um but the thing is is the luke was cool but a lot of people had trouble with this r2 because it looked just real plain and like as if they and like as if they just threw it in there you know so it was just gray painted gray but we dealt with it you know although we every kid wanted to pull that r2 out and play with it and then this baby also has landing gear. So you have your landing gear on there um, to get it to hold. But that's what we had. And the difference, what I meant by different, let me move this one aside. Okay, by variant, is you had, you see the difference, folks? You had a gray one. You know, it looks gray compared to another original. Um, and what they would do is they would put the battle damage on the uh, battle damage stickers. And then all of a sudden they have a Luke Dagobah um, vehicle. But you can see on this one, the uh, turbines on the inside are black versus the others that are white on the inside. Okay. I did this to show you, I'm not trying to brag or anything, I did this to show you just how cool they look when they're all together. I know I have a few others downstairs that are also still on display, but I had so much stuff in front of them in their display, I didn't want to take them down. And then you have this one, okay? So as you could tell on the nose, on these right here, let me get this thing up right here. Okay. So... On the nose, you would have the little light fixture. And that's the one right there. Okay. So that light turned on. You saw that in the beginning of the video and it made the noise. This one here is a Palatoy X-Wing. Okay. So the difference with this one, it has a landing gear. It locks open just like the X-Wing does. It has the same um, cover on it same insert everything is the same okay so when you when you open this baby up you can see it's all the same okay but 
you're wondering why does the nose on this one not have a light and then this one does okay well that's because this one has that engine and it has the motor in it to where you press and then uh, you could activate it with AA batteries. On the other hand, the Palatoy, which is a foreign release, does not have that. So you can see in the back, but what they did do was they gave us a beautiful sticker on the back. But what's cool about this one is check out this R2. Look at the shininess of that R2 compared to this one. So this R2 looked just kick butt. I mean, all the way kick butt. Um, and then he, he should lock in place. I haven't messed with these in so long. I'm sure I could get it after a while to lock. Let me, I'm not sure. There you go. Had to remember so you could get it like that. So I would push down on my R2 and then you got to push that button forward. Uh, to lock it in place. So there you have it. And that's my, and then to close it, you just went like that. Okay. And the same is with the others. Uh, you could get different styles of these X wings, um, but it's pretty much the same mold. And I believe that even the 1995 release for the power of the force has this mold correct me if i'm wrong for all you star wars uh pals out there uh leave it in the comments i believe that it's still the same mold as this one i have one of those 95 here but i have it sealed in a box <laughs> so yeah so it's not good i wish i had a loose one but the only 95 one i have is the one sealed in box uh that would be the orange and black box the orange carded box uh, that that one came in and then they would change it over and over over time but here is the originals right here but anyway folks i know it's a bit of of a change for my channel but this is something i've been wanting to do people are begging to see my collection my collection is so massive i wouldn't be able to do it all in one video it would take me a few videos uh and i wouldn't even know how long it would even take because I have two storage units also uh, completely filled with toys, the biggest storage units that they offer uh, because my wife just don't want a lot of it in the house. And you know, you can't blame her. So, uh, but anyway, folks, that's my look at the X-Wing fighter. Um, you can see right there, that's what we got. Uh, and yeah, what was great about this folks was when you had one of these, you were in there. I mean, you were flying it around. You would, you would hold this thing up like this and, and go through all these maneuvers like this, you know, and everything else. Uh, you were in there. So, I mean, I don't know if this one, if I can lock this one in place. Yeah, I'm having trouble with that one. But, uh, yeah, you were in there and you'd be flying around your parking lot, front of your house, building forts, flying this baby around because you were in there. And kids were kids back then because we could find this. And the moral of the story is I ran into a Hasbro employee at, my, at one of our local targets. And it was yesterday. And I had this video planned to do anyway, but... I ran into this employee and the employee just bypassed the fact that the figures that they're putting on card now all had bends in them. They were all like the corners were just shattered. You know, they, you know, new figures. And so how did this happen? Right. But that's all they had was just a few of those. Uh, now when what I'm used to in 1978 is going down a whole aisle, if not two aisles, of pure Star Wars where you could pick it out. And here was this uh, Hasbro employee and they were only going to stock. You guys ready for this? Some Black Series figures, one of each. The newest carded uh, Black Series figures. It has like uh, a Biker Scout. It had, I believe, 
uh, Princess Leia in there. It had an Ewok, a few others. Uh, but there was maybe five figures there that they were just going to put on shelf and just leave it and be gone with it. Uh, Verse what we used to have. So how do you expect to keep the Star Wars momentum rolling when you go to the store and it's empty? But in our day, folks, we went to the store and it was full. And that's why a lot of us old timers still have these old toys that people want. And it's I really feel bad for a lot of the collectors nowadays, uh, the newer ones, because they would never, ever get a chance to see Star Wars at its fullest going down those aisles for toys. I mean, for toys, not going to Disneyland and going to Galaxy's Edge. No, I'm talking about going to your local Toys R Us and you had aisles of Star Wars. Will we ever get that back? I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, Hasbro, if you're listening to this video, please surprise us. Put stuff on the shelves. We want vehicles that we could buy at any time. We want play sets that we could buy at any time. Not no little, uh, you know, a really expensive play sets and you pull it out and there's barely anything there. No, we don't want that. We want actual play sets that kids could play with and all that and gives parents time to save up to get kids these items for Christmas. All right, folks. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. So that way you know when the next video like this one hits. Follow us on Instagram at Moe's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Moe's Toys on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Check us out there on TikTok, uh, Moe's Toy Room. And right here on YouTube, folks, we are Moe's Toy Room. So subscribe today so that way you don't miss another video coming your way. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this every week. I've already did the $6 million man. I've already did the Imperial shuttle. Um, I've already did, uh, I think it was another, uh, it was the movie maniacs, um, uh, Patrick, uh, from species, uh, figure. And we are adding more. So people are begging to see some of my collection. You're going to get some of it on the throwback. So, all right, folks. So from most to to yours, it's free to subscribe, free to like, free to comment. Have at it, folks. Smash that like button and help uh, Moe's Toy Room grow. From most to to yours, good night, everyone.